Well, good morning, everybody. Top of the morning to you. Another beautiful day the Lord has made, and we choose to rejoice and be glad in it. So I thank you for allowing me into your private space this morning for this time of encouragement, inspiration, and motivation through the reading and the dialogue of God's word. Hey, Larry, good morning, sir. Good morning, man. Miss talking, chatting with you, seeing you. Pray all is well. Just staying in, right? So I thank you all for uh, being up this morning. What's going on, Brenton Haynes? Good morning to you, sir. Good to see you. Let's go ahead and go to the Father in prayer. Lord, indeed, we thank you and we love you. We acknowledge you um, as our creator, our savior, and our friend. And so we thank you for ordering our steps and um, prolonging our days. And, and with the breath that we have, we always acknowledge you and give you the praise you deserve. And our praise remains the same. Whether we're in a valley or on the mountain, we, we, we praise your name for from the rising of the sun to the setting of the same sun. It is your name that's worthy to be praised. So we thank you and we love you. Honor this time, Father, as we um, spend time encouraging ourselves and others um, going through your word. It is a light um, to our pathway. So we thank you for it. In Jesus name. Amen. All right. Hey, Missy. Good morning to you. Hey, Kendra, I see you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, thank you all for being up and chiming in. Um, uh, I don't. I know everyone is not going to work. Some are essential workers. Um, 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 Brenton and um, um, Kendra, I know you all still have to do your your job no matter what happens. So I, I um, pray for your strength and your wisdom. Um, hey George, good morning to you, sir. Been missing. I missed you guys. Well, I missed everybody on Sunday. Miss seeing your face. So good to see you up this morning with us, man. So I'm praying for wisdom for everyone as you continue to do what the things that you can do. Uh, yeah, we're going to be wise, not try to do all that we were doing because this uh, the times have changed. So we have to adjust. Um, so again, we're not trying to be practical, um, but we're spiritual people. So we're going to be wise. All right. So we are in this um, this thought, um, faithing through the unknown, faithing through the unknown. Who are you trusting? Who are you trusting? Again, um, the reality is we know the unknown, <laughs> right? We know the unknown. Um, so when I say that we know the unknown, um, what's happening in our day to day uh, is not a secret to us. Hey, Patrice, good morning to you. Miss seeing your face. Tell Michael George, I said, hey. Um, it's not a it's not a secret to us that we um, this unknown um, has always been with us. Now, granted, the unknown element has changed um, tremendously because of this particular virus, but the unknown has always been among us. Uh, faithing through the unknown is not just talking about um, the uh, coronavirus. Faithing through the unknown is life is dealing with sin, right? Um, because there's always been sickness. There will always be sickness around us, and there and the reason why sickness is around us is because of sin. So for us as believers in the 21st century today, um, in 2020, our faith in through the unknown says through the unknown says to us that we're going to keep our eyes on the Lord as we continue to journey through life's journey right now, because we have never known what tomorrow was going to bring. We have never known how people were going to act and respond to life as well as to ourselves. So we, as believers, as soon as we gave our lives to the Lord, we became faithers. We became trusters in God believing that God was going to lead us and order our steps, navigate our, 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 our path um, to where God ultimately wanted us to be. So this unknown is not really unknown. We've been faithing with God the, this entire time. And if faithing with God has brought us to the place where we are still saying today, the challenge is for us to continue to faith with him. Remember, faith is a, is a noun and a verb. So we are faithers. We are 
We live the same. We are faith. We contend with God. We, 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 we move with God, right? And so the challenge for us is not to become so, hey, Valerie, good morning to you, not to become so um, taken off guard with the unknown uh, just because it is a new virus. And I'm not diminishing that. Please hear my heart. I'm not diminishing it because people are losing their lives. But as believers, we have always walked in the unknown. Always. Right? And so we choose to keep our eyes on the Lord. We choose to keep our eyes on the Lord. So the question, the question still remains, who are you trusting? Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. I found myself last night um, doing a whole lot of extra thinking. So much so I couldn't fall asleep. So I'm like, what is going on? So every time my brain would go down this certain path and just start thinking about some, um, some real, it wasn't, they were not bad thoughts, but my brain was going to all these extreme ends. Okay, what if, what if we do this? What if this happens? And I'm like, now hold on, McClendon. Now, are you going to faith with God or are you going to try to figure this thing out on your own? And so I, 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 I had to remind myself, if I'm going to faith with God, I got to faith with God through it all and not allow, not allow the unknown of what could potentially happen. Or what if I decide to do this at this season, allowing that to distract me from keeping my eyes on the Lord. Listen, all of us will go through these moments. So don't think you're crazy. I'm not going to think I'm crazy. I'm human. You're human. But at the end of the day, and matter of fact, before the day begins, we choose to trust God. Yes, 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 I know we do. Yes, sir, we got to self-check. We got to think through some stuff. We're processors. We're percolators, right? But we just do not allow ourselves to be filled with depression of the past and anxiety of the future. We choose to have faith in God. The scriptures have said to us in many different times, the just shall live by faith. Yes, right, Larry, we don't have a choice. So I would, I would rather choose to put my life in the hands of one who's holding the whole world. So I'm not putting my life in the hands of what they, the next thing they say in these press reports, these press releases. No, I listen in to see if I can find continuity but I'm not going to put my life in that, my trust in that. My trust is in God and God alone. And so we see Isaiah as he um, sings this song over Israel because they trusted God. They, 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 they uh, repented of their sins and they came back to the, in fellowship with God and God gave them victory, gave them entrance into the city of Jerusalem once again. And Isaiah sings this song over them. In Isaiah 26, verses three and verses four, verses three says, you will keep us in perfect peace, those whose mind is steadfast because they trust in you. Listen, y'all, we, we have a great challenge on our hands. <laughs> we have to keep our confidence in God. We have to keep walking like Christ would, would, would have us walk, live out this thing of faith. And as we do that, God will continue um, to do what only God can do. He'll keep us in perfect peace. So I, I, let's, let's look at the passage, okay? Hey, Jackie, good morning to you. Good morning to you. So um, the first thing I want us to understand or be reminded of is that um, since the question is asked, who are you trusting? We have to answer the question. And the answer should be, I trust God. All right, that has to be our answer. So not only is that our answer verbally with our rhetoric, that has to be the answer with our, our physical responses and our um, the way we way our behaviors have changed uh, is the fact that we are showing, we are proving not to others, but to ourselves. It says, you will keep. <laughs> so if we're going to um, move in this season in faith and by faith, we have to recognize that the only power that's able to keep us is God. And Isaiah said, you will keep. So uh, uh, 
um, as we continue to endure um, this season, it's only God's power, once again, that's going to keep us. Um, this is not the first time Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Tamara, good morning to you. This is not the first time that God's people have had to adapt to uh, viruses and sicknesses. So this is not God's first time leading his people through the unknown of sickness, what we're going through right now. It's not the first time. <laughs> the children of Israel went through this, right? So if God is able to, um, to keep his the children of Israel, the Hebrew people of the Old Testament, he does not love them more than he loves us. God is able to keep us in this time also, in this season also, right? So we have to emphatically say and walk out, I trust God. And I know y'all saying, Mac, you just don't know all that I have going on because I, I had some stuff going on before the, this virus came on the scene, I'm with you. All of us have had some had some things going on long before this virus came around. <laughs> Yet even in that, we have learned to trust God. Yet even through that, we have stayed consistent in God's word. So God becomes even more a part of our reality because we know that he's in this with us right? The vine, the branch, we are in this thing together. Come on, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's like hopscotch. I love the practicality, um, Britton Haynes. Uh, I trust God. Um, the psalmist says in Psalm 20 and 7, some trust in chariots, some in horses, but we trust in the name of our Lord, our God. Uh, and I love how um, Peterson says it in the Message Bible. He says, see those people polishing their chariots <laughs> and those others grooming their horses, but we're making garlands for our God, our God. Wow. So there's so many people out there that are putting their trust in what the CDC says. And listen, I'm not knocking what the CDC says because they know a whole lot more than I do, yet I'm not putting my trust in that right? And I appreciate our county judges making some decisions because we have some, some selfish people out there that it has to come down from our county judge to, to tell people to not buy so much toilet tissue. I'm not knocking. Listen, gentlemen and ladies, do what you need to do as our county judge, as our politicians, but I'm not putting my trust in them, <laughs> right? I'm putting my complete trust in God that I don't need people to tell me how to be wise and make decisions. As a spiritual person, we're no longer practical. All that we do is spirit-led and spirit-filled. So we know how to make wise decisions. And when we choose not to, we're not going against the law. We're going against God, right? And so Isaiah says to the people, uh, as he sings over them, you will keep. So let me stop and ask the question. Aren't you glad that God is the keeper? He's not a keeper, but he is the keeper. Yes, ma'am. Say it, Valerie. Say it loud. Aren't you glad that you have learned to trust God in moments like this? Because you have, you have been in the unknown since you professed your faith. And so another level of the unknown is to continue to trust God as the days change. And if he's the same God of yesterday, today, and forever, his power is still able to keep you today. Now unto him who's able to keep you from falling. Y'all, our God still has power. Are we going to allow God to keep us? We cannot spend the course of our days trying to outthink God. We cannot come up with a plan to, to navigate through the unknown. Therefore, we've got to be willing to put our complete trust in God. If it's peace that you're looking for, only being kept by God will give it to you. 
Hey, Marlene, good morning to you, ma'am. Good to see you. Been missing talking with you. It is God that will keep you. Again, we had unknown going on before this virus. And if God was granting us peace, spiritual and mental, psychological, hey, Tiffany, good morning to you, psychological peace before this virus, listen, you all, God still gives peace today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I was saving that till um, Thursday. But when peace like a river, <laughs> yeah, man, at the end of the day, everybody wants the same thing. On whatever level of life that we're on, everybody wants peace. And the challenge that we have to be re remind ourselves is, is that peace only comes from God. And so Isaiah speak, as Isaiah speaks over the people, sings over them to God, he says, you will keep, you will keep. God does the keeping everybody. Yes, ma'am. He is the God of the unknown and the now. I love it, Valerie. Um, 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 yet the question has to be answered. Here it is. Here's the question. I know we're going to run out of time in a minute, but here's the question. Do you want to be kept? And then to add to that, do you want to be kept by God? <laughs> you see, because being kept uh, by God is completely different from being kept by man or some type of organization, right? Because being kept by man or an organization, we feel like we should have a part in how we're being kept. And we want a say-so. We at least want to come to the table. I mean, respect me enough to let me come sit at the table um, as you decide on what I do. You know, we want to be kept, but we want to be a part of it. Yeah. But the question is, do we want to be kept by God? Because being kept by God says, I trust you, Lord. I don't, I, I don't have to have a seat at the table. <laughs> I'm just going to trust you. Yeah, we want to be kept. Yeah, we're glad about these packages that may be coming through, getting some 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 uh, some some cash in the bank. Yeah, we like that kind of kept. Oh yeah, we know what's coming down. Oh yeah, I like that that being kept part. Uh -uh, but that's not God's keeping. That's not God's keeping. Rather, excuse me. God's keeping is trusting in Him. Period. That's it. Are we willing to do that? You see, I. I I know we're going to do it because we love him, but are we willing to do it? You see, just going through the motions, knowing that this is my only um, my only choice to let him do it, eh, that's not the joy in our salvation. That's not the joy for the journey. But we have to choose to trust God because in choosing to trust God, I don't have to keep having refills of medicine, so much medicine, because the times are changing. God says, that I choose to trust him. God's plan is a lot better than what I can come up with in my own mind. And I don't care how many relationships I have in my neighborhood, around um, the, the, uh, around the city, the county, the community. Uh -uh. None of that is going to be enough as I am facing this, this, this new normal of the unknown. But do you know what's enough? Oh, yeah. You know what I'm about to say. God is more than enough. And if you've never uh, made the decision to, to, trust, to trust God through Jesus Christ, I'm challenging you today to not try to go through life as it continues to change on your own. I believe they're going to, they're going to develop a, a, a cure, an antidote for this virus. I believe it. God, God has, 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 has touched the minds of some people here on the earth and they have a special connection. Hey, Sean, good morning, ma'am. A special connection in understanding um, um, minerals and oils and, and putting um, um, things together. I believe we're gonna come up with one. You see, once they do, in a few years or, or a decade, another decade, it'll be something else. 
And if we live long enough, if God doesn't return, Christ doesn't return, it'll be something else. So there will always be something that's going to push us to trust God. But listen, I'm not going to move to be moved, nor shall we be moved by the elements of the day. How about we choose to trust God today? Because the same power that's going to keep us today is the same power that's going to keep us now um, and a year from now, 10 years from now. And I would rather learn to trust God now where think while things are somewhat pleasant, because as the bottom falls out, um, that 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 trust is great. But could you imagine? Can you imagine if we were to really trust God today? I think we would have possibly less gray hairs popping up. We wouldn't be so on the edge about things, especially things that, that are really small. As believers, trusting God is more than just um, looking a certain way and putting certain things on social media to make folks believe that you are a Christian. No, no, no. It's living this thing. It's walking this thing out. And so the challenge for us today, my friends, is to make sure that we choose to trust God. I love it, Sean. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. I'm going to listen to some. <laughs> It's something about those old songs, huh? Yeah, man. Listen, I know y'all know the old one. It says, I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord till I die. Till I die, it's early, you know. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord. Until I die, I am going to stay on bended knees. Y'all know those old songs. There's something about it, right? We choose to trust God no matter what. The peace that we need begins with us recognize, recognizing who's keeping us. And it's God. God is the keeper. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you. We honor you for our time this morning. Lord, let it be the, another step, a moment of encouragement for us to know that we can make it, we can endure the hardships of the day because you have already made us victorious. We choose to be kept by you. We choose to be kept by you. If it's not one thing, it'll be another thing, but we choose to keep our eyes focused on you. So Father, I pray for my brothers and sisters, your sons and daughters, as we uh, make whatever steps we're making today. Some are still going out to work. Some are working from home. Um, Lord, we thank you for the peace that you give in this time of storm. And so we honor you. We love you. And we will not only confess you, but we will walk this faith out because you are God and you are God all by yourself. So Father, we love you and we thank you. And we give your name all the praise. Thank you for blessing us and keeping us allowing your face to shine upon us and be gracious to us, lifting your countenance upon us and giving us your peace. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, everybody, I wanna thank you one more time for allowing me into your private space. Um, all One Church members, um, you will be receiving an email today um, for a, a, uh, a week's worship guide so you can have um, even more of a spiritual um, walk with the family doing this discipleship worship guide, um, a devotional worship guide, excuse me, rather, at home this week. And if you would like one and you're not a part of our, um, our emailing system for our newsletter, um, send me a, um, your email address, message me, and I will have you add it so you can have this for your family to have something to do with your family because everybody's at home, right? And so we want to keep the spiritual life of our family strong. So um, our, um, our associate pastor of Christian education and discipleship and his team, they have, they've been writing and putting things together for us. And so I celebrate um, 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 the, 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 uh, the leadership that we have at the church. 
uh, with Flowers and his group uh, for writing this. And we're going to be producing this, um, you know, these new normals. Uh, the Lord t uh, shows you what you ought to get involved in. So we, we may never stop producing these. All right. So I'm so grateful to have the team doing that. So if you want one of these and you're not a part of one church's email newsletter, message me your email address. It'll make sure you get it on today. All right. Listen, y'all. I love you. Have a safe day. It Be safe. Let me say it like this. Stay safe. Um, stay wise. And if you can, stay home. We love you. We'll talk to you tomorrow. All right. Bye-bye.